I used to wake up and hit the crack pipe first thing in the morning. No wonder I had depression. Your mornings really do set out the entire day. And in this video, I'm gonna to explain to you how I changed it all starting from May, 2020. What's good for your benefit is that at this point, literally the one thing I changed was the morning routine. After the morning, I would go and do the exact same things, which was smoking weed all day, playing video games all day, and just binge eating, lying around, doing nothing. The only one thing I changed was the first one hour of the morning. So the depression negating effects are solely due to the morning routine change and pretty much nothing else, which I think is quite nice for you guys to be watching this so that you know the power of a morning routine is immense. The first thing I changed was waking up at 6 a.m. every single day. I set on the iPhone bedtime on the clock app to 6 a.m. every single day, no matter what time I went to sleep the night before. This was very, very important, and it's the, the secret to waking up early, is to purposely wake up at the same time every day, even if you didn't get much sleep the night before. Because after two, three days of late nights, two to four hours sleep, waking up at six, by the third day, I was asleep by 9 p.m. As soon as I woke up, I would immediately exercise, followed by meditation, followed by gratitude journaling. That is all I changed. I did those three things after waking up. And six months later, I still follow a very similar routine. All three things I did in the morning were fasted. I don't know if that has some kind of benefit or not. I'm sure that the people who do intermittent fasting and water fast would probably say it does. I don't really know, but I used to just wake up. I wouldn't eat anything. I'd I'd literally just exercise, meditate, and write a few points in the gratitude journal, and then I would eat about half an hour or so after that. There's a few key notes and mentalities and things to think about that I think you'd benefit from. The first is the benefits of exercise. There's a long-term and a short-term, and the short-term, in my opinion, is way, way, way more important when, you, when you've got depression. The long-term, imagine you've been exercising for six months, a year, five years, you feel fantastic, you feel proud of yourself, but you've gotta to get to that long-term consistent habit to actually feel the long-term benefit. And if you've got depression, you probably aren't consistent in something like this. Or if you're just a lazy guy, you're not consistent enough to feel that long-term. The short-term benefits of exercise are huge. And what I mean by that is literally the few hours after you've exercised you've got like a boost in everything that's good in life your happiness has gone up your stress has gone down your depression symptoms have gone down your anxiety symptoms have gone down your friendliness your kindness the, the amount you love the people next to you seems to go up when you exercise for a couple of hours and so exercising first thing in the morning was the most important thing out of all of these because it then meant that I could meditate, I could do the gratitude journaling. I tried to meditate immediately after waking up or I tried to do the gratitude immediately after waking up and I never stayed consistent with them. But waking up and immediately doing a few minutes of exercise was something that I actually could stay consistent with. And that seemed to have given me some kind of overall well-being boost for a couple hours that got me through the morning. Meditation was something that I experimented with, I did every now and then, like more than a year ago, but it was very, very inconsistent. I just downloaded the random apps and tried to follow them and, you know, I couldn't clear my mind off thoughts, so I quit. At about May 2020, so about six months ago, when I started this morning ritual, it was the first time I actually got consistent in meditation, specifically because I paired it with exercise. It became like a very consistent ritual. Wake up, exercise, meditate every single day. I know that people will say that you're not supposed to exercise every day, but that is more for the people who are doing the full routines. So before this period of depression, I was you know, a weightlifter, a bodybuilder, and I was working out like five, six days a week. But during periods of this, I was barely going to the gym three times a week. And during lockdown as well, obviously I wasn't even going to the gym at all. This is the coronavirus workout. The first exercise we have is elbow sneezes. I'll demonstrate now. <coughs> My back is nice and straight, shoulders back. Always good form. Imagine you're gonna do bench press. Nice and good form. Achoo. I'd say 20 reps for these. You wanna be invoking hypertrophy. Imagine if someone is trying to do exercise number one, the elbow sneeze, but imagine if they do it wrong and they don't actually sneeze into their elbow and instead they sneeze on your face. Achoo! Okay, so this is how you defend yourself, right? So as soon as they come towards you with the, the sneeze, this, 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 get away! 
away from me. I don't want no coronavirus. <laughs> and meditation was actually really nice. At first, I didn't really like it, and the time would go so slowly, but I started feeling a lot more positive to it because I viewed it as just peaceful times of self-care. I remember reading or watching something that said that you spend pretty much your entire day just thinking about stuff, thinking about what you don't have, and planning for the future, trying to make money, trying to make gains. And meditation is the one few minutes of your day where you literally just sit there and you're purposely just focusing on what's happening right this millisecond. The app that helped me get consistent, I, I literally talk about this app on every single time I meditate because it's the best one, no fluff. It's just a guy who tells you when to come back to the present moment, fantastic. That's all I ever wanted in a meditation app and I never found one beforehand, but I downloaded Medito and I've used it for like, 250 sessions now. Then I paired gratitude journaling with meditation. So you notice how it was first exercise, then I paired meditation to that, I stacked the habit on top of exercise, and then I stacked gratitude journaling on top of meditation. This made the morning routine feel so consistent and so easy to access. Like I didn't have to think about what it was going to be, it was just normal life to wake up, exercise, meditate, and then write a few points in my gratitude journal. And writing the, the gratitude journal was very important because that was the thing that actually made me way happier. It reminded me that there's so many good things in life that I just, I'm not really thinking about because at this moment in time, I was just overly thinking about the future, thinking about making money, trying to become a success and stuff. And gratitude was the few minutes of my day that I would actually sit there and be thankful for what I had right this moment. And all of this since that moment has become a habit. Since May, I have followed this, generally the same thing. Now I do gratitude journaling at night time, but I still wake up, exercise first thing in the morning, and then meditate. And it's six months later. This is the best shape I've ever been in physically. My mental health has never been better, even before I actually knew what mental health was. So if I look back now, when I was, let's say 15, and never heard of mental health or depression or anxiety, I definitely had some symptoms back then. Not, not a lot, but some. And now I score like pretty much zero points on the self-assessment scales. I will post a screenshot of one that I take with complete honesty and We'll just see, I haven't taken it yet, but I'm assuming it's gonna be like a few points because the last one I took a month ago was like two points in the anxiety scale. Fantastic improvement. I am so proud of myself. And the morning ritual, this morning routine is the thing that actually got me out of that depression. If you like this video, you feel like you learned something and you wanna watch a somewhat unconventional small YouTuber who just chat shit, then turn on the post notifications. Finally, quick call to action. If you go to the description, there's a link to Be My Student. We do one-to-one -one video calls. Seems to have a massive effect on the students so far. We're seeing mental health go down. We're seeing productivity go up, internet use go down, discipline up everyone's working out three, four, five times a week. I give you the best education of your life, the best value education of your life. And if it doesn't change your life, I refund all your money and also give you an extra 10% as an apology. And that's not happened yet. So I don't know. I would say that I'm a pretty good teacher. And if you want to learn from a one-to-one -one basis, then you would have someone to talk to if you're feeling lonely and shit. And I'll, I'll message you all the time like, Bro, have you, have you done the workout yet? You're like, no, 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 you haven't. Fucking do the workout, bitch. Why are you being a pussy? Fucking, what's your address? Send me the location, bro. I'm gonna fucking do the workout, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so this morning ritual changed my life and it's so simple. It's literally just four steps. Wake up early, exercise, meditate, gratitude journaling. And a very important mentality to couple with all of this is do the hard work even when you don't feel like it. Take care.